sand over there, so it's not as much in your audio. Probably. Hey guys, looks like I'm live. It's Michelle. And um, hello and welcome to the Craft Garage. With you plus me, that makes two people crafting. All right. Here we go. If you're not catching me live, if you're catching me on the replay, that's okay. You just won't see the little red live up here in this corner. I think it is up here. Anyway, so I want to come on live tonight. Hi, Rosemary. I want to come on live. Sorry I'm an hour late. Actually, I'm more than an hour late. I'm crazy late, but that's okay. I had, Michael and I had to run in town and get um, some sandpaper. He is making some D&D &D dice and he made his very own mold, so, so exciting. And, um... Unfortunately for the viewing public, I can't legally sell them to you. Right, he cannot. But, um... He can't sell them to you, but he made his own molds. So exciting for him. And, um, so he's made a couple sets, but he had to have, um... He had to have quite a little bit more, um, what's the, grit? Is that what it's called, yeah, Michael? Yeah, it has to get, you have to. So his sandpaper that I use, I never use more than a 220 grit sandpaper, but we went and got him like 12,000 grit. It's like so, or yeah, I'm sorry, 1,200, he corrected me. It's so fine, but that's what you got to have when you're working with resin, and you got to use water and all this stuff. He knows how to do it. Anyway, I have got like five projects started and going today, you guys, but I want to do this kickstart, and I'm going to do it the, the way they show it, but I want to show you guys. I fixed my shirt last night from last night. Look at here, guys. I decided to put three rhinestones on either side of it, so now you can't see my little um, mess up, but I said I would show that, and I'm showing that tonight. Because I knew I would get it fixed. And I always like a little bit of bling bling. Now I am trying to decide if I want to put one down here and one up here too. Just to kind of balance it all out. But I really like the three on either side. So I was going to wear it for my live tonight. But I didn't because running a little crazy behind. So alright. Anyway that's how I fixed my shirt. So let's get on to the kickstart. If you're not watching me live that's okay. But hey I just wanted to let you guys know. I'm Michelle. I'm an independent chalk couture distributor. Um, you can always hit my link up above and um, shop anytime you want on my Facebook. And if this is, if you're watching on YouTube, I will um, put the link in the description below. So I'm going to work on the chalk couture, um, uh, the um, frame with the boutique uh, frame with a white board, okay? So it has a gold, this is what it looks like. This is what comes in your kit. It's gold with a white base. And this you can erase whatever you put on it and put something different on it. It comes with two chalk paste singles, the Shimmer Gold and the Marvelous, as I like to call it, say it. And then you get a small squeegee, okay? So, and your transfer, okay? So... Um, anyway, this, I think it's a great deal. You get all of this, and I believe it's $29.99. If I'm not mistaken, I might be. If I am, somebody please correct me. Uh, that's U.S. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and chalk this up. Chalk it up fancy, but I'm going to use my paste that I already have and not open the paste singles. And I'm going to use a squeegee I already own. But I am going to use the gold that I own and the Marvelous. So does anybody have any questions while I'm getting this all ready? So like always, you guys, I'm going to stir up my pastes. My Marvelous has, this is a new Marvelous. I haven't even used this one. Must have ran out because this is a color I do like to use. Mostly I just like to say it. I I think it's a great, looks like I'm going to have to add some water to it, but let me get this 
stirred up good before I let's see and you guys I to why did my computer just die did I lose you guys no nope. there we go I don't know my screen just went black on my computer I thought I lost you guys. Sorry. I'm still here if you're still here. Let's make sure the live comes back. That was really weird, Michael. There, I'm back. Okay. I don't know. Something must be going on with Facebook again. You know, we're all on this internet so much. And you didn't miss anything. I was just stirring pace. That's all. Rosemary, I saw your live earlier today. Very cute. Very cute. I love that truck. And what a great idea to make the cutout a magnet so that you can change it around. I still have my truck cut out. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. I got that from you. If you guys want any cutouts for any of our transfers, Rosemary cuts them out and she does a great job. She uses a scroll saw and she's in she's in the chat. Anyway, just uh, message her. But her truck cutout looks so good done. And then she put it on a board today on her live. It looked very nice. All right, I think I'm getting to about the consistency that I want. Still got a few chunks in here, but, and I apologize, you guys. I should have had this all stirred up and ready to go before my live, but here we are, and here it is. So Michael's over there sanding away, getting his dice all smooth. Hey, Michael, you want to do your mommy a big favor? What is it? Do you want to bring me over a tub of water? There's a tub right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you bring it over for me? So I have something to put my... I didn't grab anything to put my squeegees in. So that was kind of crazy. All righty. Hey. Hey. This one's all... You want to just grab one of those and fill it with water for me? Thank you, thank you. And then my... Alrighty, so we got that one ready. And my shimmer gold should be ready. Oh, yeah. It looks fabulous, but I will stir it a little bit. And you guys, I love these multi-tools. You can get into the finest, smallest spots and then stirring. There's a couple things. Uh, do you wanna just set it right there? Uh, when the way that this has a hook on it like this, you can hook up underneath that lip right there and get all the paste right out from under that lip. So you can stir it up real good. And then the way the bottom is curved, you can, go right along the bottom and pick up everything. And you know what? This does need just a hit of water. It's a little bit thick, I think. Not too much. Not like the model is needed. There we go. All right. Now we're cooking with cheese. Michael just laughed at that, that I thought that, that I said that. Sometimes you gotta get melty. That's right. Sometimes you got to get melty. So anyway, you guys, maybe if um, Michael gets his dice all uh, sanded down this week, maybe next week I can uh, bring a set on and show them to you guys. Um, he doesn't sell them. Yeah. He's just making them for himself because you can't really make your own molds and then you sell dice. It's not really... Yeah, you can I if you 3D print your own masters that you've designed yourself. Yes, there you go. So anyway, he's not going to do all that, I doubt. But it's just, it. these are for him. He's like a 
If I say something wrong, Michael, you just gotta correct me. He's a dungeon master for some for some games. So that's why he likes to have a set of dice for the game. All right, so again, I'm going to fuzz my transfer. And remember, you guys, if you do not have a fuzzing cloth like I do, this is our fuzzing cloth. If you do not have this fuzzing cloth, you can always just use your T-shirt. Now, you guys, come fall, winter time, I like to these round boards like this. I like to use this one and then the next size bigger and I like to make snowmen on them. But I love it that these boards are being utilized as part of the kickstart. The nice thing about this kit is that you get your squeegee, you get your two paste colors, you get your surface and you get a transfer, okay? So if you just want to try it out, it's perfect to just try it out. Also know that your transfer or this surface will work with most all of our um, club transfers also. So if you want to use this as your club transfer surface, you could. And erase it each month and put something different on it, okay? So I'm going to press this down good, get all my air bubbles out. And if you guys notice, see how this transfer can kind of pop up like this? That is one thing that I love about our transfers over any of those hard stencils that you get. Um, besides for the fact that you get a way cleaner... Um, I have worked with stencils my entire crafting life and i'm telling you you guys i've never got such a crisp clean um finished product from a stencil as i do from these transfers because they have that silk screen area okay and nothing really oozes under them if you get the air all out nothing oozes under or out from under i guess however that would be anyway so i'm gonna do the marvelous on the flowery part And like I say, you guys put plenty on because you can always pick it up and take it off, okay? So I'm going to do the top part, wipe off my excess, and then I'm going to lift that part up just so my stencil doesn't dry, okay? and let that kind of fall back down. I'm gonna try and not feel rushed tonight because sometimes when I'm on live, I feel real rushed. And then like last night on my shirt, I kind of goofed up. So then I'm gonna do gold down the middle for the words. There we go. And I'm gonna lift that up. And just lay it back down. And then I'm going to do Marvelous down here again. So tonight, Michael and I are kind of hanging out together because... Brent is up at his dad's doing something with the TV. I'm not sure what. Must not have been too technical because they didn't ask Michael to come up and help. And Jason is at baseball practice, which we got Jason's invites to his graduation party finished last night. And I picked them up today. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Him and Kiernan are having a party together. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up. All right, and I'll just set this over here and then we just need to dry that. And voila, you guys, voila, we're done. I'm just gonna dry it and then it's done and I'll show you, I can touch it. I can, you know, I'll show you. Let me dry it. 
just take a second here. What do you guys think? I think it looks so nice and quick, simple. All right, you guys, so see, it's dry. Well, it's hot still, but it's dry. See, I'm not getting, well, let me wipe my hands off because I got a little marvelous on this hand, I guess, and some white paint, and that's what happens when you're doing stuff. But it's all dry. My hands, get my hands dry. Uh, and then look, nothing smears, it's all dry. It, it all stays on there, and then it hangs up. See, there's a chain on it that hangs up. All right, you guys. So that is the Kickstarter kit. Okay? And that is on my website. If you want to go up here to the very top, it should be up there. And uh, just push shop, okay? And now I have one other thing I want to do with you guys tonight. But this was uh, what I said last night I was going to come on and do real quick. Anyway, so I also have these banners. And my Brenny cut these out for me, which, and then I sanded them, okay? But what I'm going to do here is I am going to paint these in different colors. So I'm going to start with my blue. I'm going to do three blue two white and two red. Maybe I should do three white, two blue, two red. Because then I could do white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do three white. So, sorry. You guys can see my gray hair there. Sorry about that. Goodness gracious. How much gray hair can one girl have? A lot. In case anybody was wondering so I am just gonna go through and paint these real quick and I'm not gonna put a real full coverage on them on any of them because I am going to go back and I'm gonna sand it off anyway to kind of rough it up so I'm not gonna get too crazy about full coverage completely Do a little bit on the sides. But again, even there, I'm gonna be sanding off, so it doesn't really matter too much. Just get some paint down. And because I'm not doing a real thick coat, it's gonna come off or uh, dry quickly. And then we can get on to the next step. What do you guys think? Can you guys hear Michael over there sanding away? I don't know that I shared this live on my personal page. I probably should do that too, you guys. Let me get these painted up and then I'll take a minute to do that, okay? And I can always go back and um, add more paint if I feel like I need it, right? So. I wasn't going to do this project tonight, but kind of changed my mind mid I was just going to show you guys the shirt and uh, do that kickstart but I had these sitting here they need painted and they need stuff trans transfers put on them 
so I was just gonna do these and show you guys the final project the final product in a picture but here I am just doing them all on a live why not right and oh I want to show you guys what I did today too for my sister Of course, if she's watching, I don't think she is. I don't see her on here. So I think I'm good to show you guys. Get that white paint off my fingers. So today I did this. What do you guys think? And then I have beads. I'm gonna put a bead um, up here. Uh, like a garland to hold it for her to hang it with. So, anyway, I'm just washing my hands off. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them in the thing. You know what? I think maybe I will finish that tonight. Instead of painting these all up and doing all this, I think I will hang that, run that garland on that, and I will paint these triangles, and then I will get back with you guys possibly Monday night and we will chalk them, okay? I think that it, that is what I'm going to do. So let me just take these all off of here and I will get the stuff for the garland and we will do that tonight because I think that's a more realistic project for tonight. So, oops over here because I'm going to have to take them outside and sand them down a little bit all that stuff so I don't think those are going to be the perfect project for tonight and I think Michael might want my help sanding so if I get off of here I can help him with his project too right but I love spending time with you guys so I don't want to not do that either so Here are my beads that I already painted. Some are white, some are gray, some are navy blue. And like I said, this is the sign I'm gonna hook them onto, okay? So, here's my wire, right here. So I'm gonna set the sign aside for now. Just wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing. And then I'm gonna string my beads. Okay, so sometimes when you paint beads, I like to paint them on these skewers and stick them in a piece of, uh, this is just Dollar Tree foam from the dollar store. And you guys, I don't worry about getting 100% coverage on my beads either. I know some people really do, but I do not. So I have some gray. You can barely tell the difference between the gray and the white, can you? And we'll definitely be able to tell between them and the blue. All right. So get these apart. All right. I'm going to start with a white one. And then I'm going to do a gray one. And then a blue. And that's going to be my pattern. White, gray, blue. Actually, I think I'm going to do, yeah, white, gray, blue. Yep. And I'm going to do that across. And I have 10 of each. I don't do math. So if you do math, you can tell me how many, how long this is going to be, I guess, if you knew the size of the beads and all that good stuff. But I got a wandering bead here. Now remember, she's gonna put this on her porch. So, um, it's not like it's not gonna weather. You know, it's gonna get weathered. So I don't worry too much about it being precisely precise, you know? I think 
the colors can be a little rough and missing some colors and all that good stuff. Almost done. White, gray, blue. And then I think what I want to do is white, gray, blue, and then go white, gray, and have one extra blue. Or no, I want to go gray, white. Sorry. So it's the same either way. And then I'll have one extra blue, which who cares, right? All right, so here's our extra blue one. So what I want to do is I want to kind of bend this, even it up, yep, and know that this is my middle right here, okay? And then I'll bring my sign back. And I think what I'm going to do is do this with a staple and then I'm gonna curl the wire. Does that make sense, you guys? So let me do this. Kind of. You know what I think I'm gonna do is put a bend here so my beads don't try to come off. Put a little swirl. And then over here, I'm gonna put a little bend. A little swirl, I guess, is what I mean to say so my beads don't try to come off. And this wire, I have to tell you, is from the farm store. Like, you would get it at, well, I probably got it at Farm and Fleet because that's where I shop. But um, there's different, um, you know, of course, different farm stores out there. Like, I don't think that there's farm and fleets in every state, so. All right, set this up. And I'm gonna get my staple gun. Oh, Ooh, Michael, you were right, I almost spilt that water. And I'm gonna put a couple staples in here. Staples in over here. All right, so my staples are in, and this Ryobi staple gun is amazing, but over this wire, I don't have the right kind of staples. So, what I'm going to do is just give it a little tap, tapity, tap, tap. There we go. Then we'll be tight there. All right. And then, you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these skewers. And I'm just going to wrap. I think I'll start on this side. And I'm just going to wrap this wire around the skewer. And this wire is probably a heavier gauge than what I need for this, but I do like a heavy gauge wire. So then I just take that out. There we go. And I'm just gonna turn this one a little bit on its own so it's not poking it out with my pliers. And just kind of let that square squiggle up like that and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side go around my skewer just and you can use a pencil or a pen or 
really you can use anything around to wrap this around. I just like to use the skewer because I have it sitting right here. And then of course I'm going to fix the end over here. So no one hurts themselves on it. We don't want that. And then we can just let that go up like that. Okay, you guys, there you go. What do you think? I think my sister's going to love it. And I think, see, I think on the back I might even uh, put something different. So if she doesn't like this all year round, I can put something else. Or she can put turn it over and use the other side for something else. So, Okay, well, thank you for stopping by the craft garage to visit tonight. And if you, like I said, if you didn't catch me live, you can always catch me on replay. Um, I just love our time together, okay, you guys? So these cutouts I stapled down with my um, stapler that I just used, my Ryobi. And these cutouts are from uh, Rosemary. So if you're interested, she cuts these out. And then there's a transfer that makes them look like the Anirondack chair, like they are. So uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and feel free to give me a message and I will get back to you. All right. Thanks, guys. You guys have a good night.